being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in Let me in, yeah Hey guys, Alan Trotter, personal trainer and online fitness coach. In this video, I'm going to explain a med ball chest throw. So this video specifically is designed for training a younger sports team. Um, so that's really what I'm going to be gearing it towards. So for teaching a standing med ball chest throw, you want to have the weight up at the chest, making sure that this is a progression coming off of jumps where you've taught the landing mechanics and the technique for the hip hinge so that they can really exert the proper power and they're using their whole body behind this. So I want to have the ball up at my chest, my elbows are tucked in, have my shoulders pulled back, my core is nice and tight. I'm gonna hinge at the hips and then use the power from my hips as I push and throw this ball. So when you teach someone to do the med ball chest pass, you're not teaching it like throwing a basketball and lofting up. You wanna teach how to exert that power forward in here. So also doing things like plyo push-ups would be great because it's that same movement and direction that you're exerting that power. So keeping these elbows tucked back, I wanna throw the ball straight forward. So if you see the ball spinning or you see the ball lofting up, that's really how you're gonna be able to know how to direct those cues to how they're pushing the ball. Um, you can also use cues in terms of like pushing someone off of you. Um, if you're doing push-ups, pushing the ground away from you, trying to get up um, off the ground. So that's the kind of power you're wanting to try and teach them to transfer into throwing these balls. And then getting that hip hinge and the power from the hips behind it. So I'll just show throwing straight, but again, like I said in the med ball side toss video, um, having partners to do this with or up against some kind of brick wall where it, the ball can come back would be the best scenario for this. So ball up here, my hips are back, and then I'm gonna use the power from my hips while I throw. So, and you have a little mini jump in there and you're just pushing the ball forward uh, with all the power from your body. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave all the comments and love below. Oh, oh yeah, you know me. I got